The life cycle of crops is being sped up to develop new varieties so Australian farmers can minimise the effects of drought and climate change. The technique is designed to fast track more robust crops to meet the food demands of a growing world population. It's been a hot, dry summer for growers on the Darling Downs. Below average rain and scorching temperatures have halved crop yields. It'd be really good to get a decent break, um, get some wonderful rain. To combat the conditions, Wayne Newton's been testing specially designed sorghum plants. Crop breeding, crops research and development is um, a key cornerstone to our industry. At the forefront of innovative plant research is Dr Lee Hickey, who's leading a speed breeding program using high-tech greenhouses. By manipulating light and temperature, crops like wheat, barley and quinoa are growing two to three times faster than normal. To transfer a new trait into an elite crop variety, it can take up to 20 years. So a technology like speed breeding can really help fast track this whole process and perhaps we can do it in half the time. Genetic traits that boost yields and make crops more resistant to extreme weather and drought are highly prized. Climate change is happening now. It's not a futuristic thing. After the greenhouse, the plants are tested in the field. The best varieties are then made available to farmers. The technique is also being adopted overseas. Dr Hickey has just returned from India, where heat also takes a toll. We're building large warehouse facilities for speed breeding in India because in Hyderabad it's extremely warm all year round. The United Nations estimates by 2050 the world population will reach almost 10 billion. The researchers involved in this program say growing demand and climate challenges make food security more important than ever. Rachel Riga, ABC News.